first PCs, Apple II, Commodore, Radio Shack, it was still a tiny market. The game changer was when IBM entered the market in 81. IBM, International Business Machines, has entered the small computer market for the first time. It's expected to have a major impact on what is now the fastest growing sector of the computer business. IBM said, we're going to go from selling million dollar computers to a few thousand people, to thousand dollar computers to a few million people. IBM's personal computer is designed for office, school or home use. It's aimed at exactly the same market as its competitors. It's expected to be sold very aggressively. The race was on. This was going to cause that market to explode. Sales of personal computers are so hot this Christmas, Santa Claus may have to replace his reindeer with microchips. 850,000 people bought home computers in the United States last year. The industry expects this year more than 3 million will. We're no longer on the verge of the personal computer revolution. We're right in the midst of it with more and more people jumping aboard every day. Osborne was being very successful with an extraordinarily ugly portable. And Rod had purchased the IBM PC so he could write uh, business plans on it. And it kind of became obvious to him that that PC, if it was portable, I, that would be a good product. What popped in my head was, well, if we could take this idea for a, for a portable and we could make it run the software that was written for the IBM PC, ooh, it's like that's when the chill went down my spine. It's like, oh, man, would that sell?